What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and we've got a very special unboxing for you guys today. This here, of course, is the Asus ROG Phone 2. A phone designed from the ground up for gamers. I was very impressed with the ROG Phone 1 last year, which had a few world firsts and the ROG Phone 2 also has a few world firsts. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the first thing I have to say is this box is super, super cool. It's quite similar to what we had on the ROG Phone 1, but uh, it's got a very unique and futuristic design. And the way you actually open this is, look at that. It's like one of those capsules. That is so cool. I, I love it when manufacturers kind of pay attention to details like this. So we've got a section here. We've got the phone in here, which I'm not sure how to take out. I kind of don't want to rip the box because it's really nice. Eventually managed to do it, although I did rip the box a little bit. Right, let's put this to the side and see what else we get inside the box. And here is everything that we get inside the box. There is a SIM card ejector tool. We've got a case. We've got a 30 watt fast charger, which supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0. A braided USB type C to USB type C cable. Uh, there is the Aero Active Cooler version two. And we have a few of the bits, which I'm not sure what they are. There's like two rubber tips here and uh, there's also, I, I, I actually don't know what this is, I'm sorry. Right, now let's get the phone out of the plastic. And here it is in its full glory. Uh, the design is quite similar to the ROG Phone 1, but uh, that was really unique as it is, so I'm sure a lot of people won't mind that. Now let's look at one of the main highlight features of the ROG Phone 2, and that is the world's first 120 hertz AMOLED display. The ROG Phone 1 was the world's first with a 90 hertz AMOLED display, and we've had the OnePlus 7 Pro, which also has a 90 hertz AMOLED display this year. We've seen other LCD displays with 120 hertz, but this is the first 120 hertz AMOLED display, and that is absolutely awesome. This is so, so smooth. And I'm a big fan of AMOLED displays. AMOLED displays, they have much better colors compared to LCD, as well as better viewing angles, and so, so smooth. I absolutely love this. Not only that, you do have a one millisecond response time and 240 hertz touch input, so this is gonna be so, so important for gamers. The size of the display is 6.6 .6 inches. It's 10-bit HDR. Delta E under one color accuracy and 49 milliseconds touch latency. This is an absolutely dope display. And I know a few of you guys are gonna be talking about the bezels because we do have small bezels on the top and bottom, but there's some good reasoning behind this. That is firstly because we've got dual front firing stereo speakers with DTSX Ultra. And also because this device is mostly gonna be used in landscape mode when you're gaming, uh, it's to reduce some accidental touches towards the sides. Now the resolution is full HD+, not quad HD+, I'm assuming they didn't go for the high resolution to achieve the 120 hertz on AMOLED. Personally speaking, I'm happy to compromise with the full HD+, resolution and these bezels for that 120 hertz OLED as well as the front firing speakers. Right, so that's the display. Now what's powering the ROG Phone 2? Well, in here we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset, and I believe this is the first new announced phone with this chipset. And that's a 2.96 gigahertz high frequency CPU, and it's also got an overclocked Adreno 640 GPU. Now apparently that can boost performance up to 15% above spec. Not only that, you've got UFS 3.0 storage, and you've got 500 gigabytes of UFS 3.0 storage. So that's gonna be super fast storage. We've also got this on the OnePlus 7 Pro and I can tell you from experience that does definitely have an impact on speed. And for RAM, you've got 12 gigabytes of LP DDR4X RAM. And with all of these specifications, I truly expect this to be an absolute beast for gaming. Uh, I assume it's gonna be one of the fastest out there. Now, of course, with all of that performance power, you are gonna be getting a lot of heat. And for that, Asus have the Game Cool 2 Vapor Chamber Cooling System. And that can handle around 7.5 watts of heat. Now, I'm sure my buddy Zach from Jerry Rig Everything is gonna open this up so you can see all of the beautiful internals and how all of this works. But I gotta say that's super, super impressive. As well as that, you do, of course, get the Aeroactive Cooler 2 out of the box. This has a built-in fan 
and that's going to help towards cooling as well. Now, another thing that Asus has been really keen on is providing tons of battery life for gamers. And the ROG Phone 2 has a massive, wait for it, 6,000 mAh battery. So that is the biggest battery on any phone that I've tested. So you're gonna be getting plenty of gaming time on here with this battery. And of course you do get that 30 watt charger with ASUS's hypercharge technology. Now, although it's a 30 watt charger, 25 watts will be used to charge the phone and the other five watts will be used to charge any peripherals that you have attached onto this. Now, let's take a look at the overall design. As mentioned, this does look quite similar to what we had on the ROG Phone 1. And we've got Gorilla Glass 6 on both the front and back. The back glass is curved to make this more comfortable to hold. We have the illuminated ROG logo, which you can customize. Uh, this definitely does look really, really dope. For the cameras, we've got pretty much the same cameras as we've got on the Zenfone 6. So that's a 48 megapixel primary camera with an f1.79 aperture, as well as a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 125 degree angle of view. And that has an f2.4 aperture. Front facing camera, however, is 24 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture. And this year we also have the fingerprint scanner within the display. Uh, it does work really well, it's super, super fast. Uh, last year we did have it at the back. Now on the top, we don't have anything apart from a secondary mic. On the right hand side, we have a power button as well as a volume rocker. And then we have the air triggers. Now these are basically touch buttons which you can customize to tap within the display. So for instance, if you're in a game and there's a particular button here on the right hand corner, instead of having to reach over to press that, you can have a shortcut here and that's gonna help with that gaming experience. I think this is such a clever idea. Now the bottom, we do have a 3.5 mm jack and this does come with DTS headphone X sound. And then we've got a USB type C input. Now what's interesting is that if you go here on to the left hand side, uh, we've got this rubber tip. Oh, okay, so that's what the things, initially when I looked at the box, uh, that's what this was. We've got a cover for two USB type C ports here. Now this is something that we initially saw introduced on the ROG Phone 1. And I think this is such a clever, clever design because if you want to charge your phone, but you still want to game in landscape mode, which is what this phone is intended to be used as, then you can plug in a cable and that's not going to interfere with your gaming experience. And if you do want to add some accessories like the Aeroactive Cooler, which we'll put on right here, not only is it going to draw power from the phone, so we've got, uh, you can see the Light Up Republic of Gamers logo, as well as the ROG logo here at the back, and the fan, I'm not sure if you can hear that on the mic. It's quite silent, but on top of that, the Aeroactive Cooler has a USB Type-C input, as well as a 3.5 mm jack, which is so cool. So you can be plugged in and it's not gonna really affect uh, your gaming experience as it would do on many of the devices where those wires would come in the way. Such a cool, cool design, I gotta say. For software, you've got Android Pie with the ROG UI. Now, something that I really like that ASUS has done this year is that they've toned down their skin heavily. So you're looking at something that's very close to stock Android but with additions that are actually useful and specific for this phone. So for example, you've got a built-in screen recorder, you've got X mode, which is gonna enhance your gaming performance and mute notifications and things like that. And then you also have the Armory Crate, which has quite a cool intro. And this is gonna let you see all of your CPU performance, temperature, and it's gonna let you customize the lighting and things like that. So super, super cool. Features that are really useful rather than just there for the hell of it. Now there's a few additional features that ASUS have also included in the ROG Phone 2, such as multi-antenna Wi-Fi. So you've got great Wi-Fi connectivity, regardless of how you're using the phone in landscape or portrait, quad mic noise canceling array, dual haptic accelerators for 3D feedback. And to put that into perspective, the vibrator on the ROG Phone 2 is six times faster and three times more powerful compared to something like the OnePlus 7 Pro. And that is the ROG Phone 2. In terms of pricing and availability, I've not been giving any details as yet. As soon as I do have that information, I'll put that as a pinned comment, so do look out for that. And there are lots of other accessories as well available for the ROG Phone 2, uh, such as gaming controllers, as well as a dock if you want to connect this to a display. Those are things that I've not had a chance to check out as yet. 
Uh, I'm super impressed with the ROG Phone 2. I love that this has been built from the ground up for gamers and I love all of the considerations such as the side USB port and the air triggers and the 120 hertz display, all of these things that have gone in to really make this a device for gamers. Are you a gamer? Are you impressed with this device? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if there's any further coverage you'd like me to do with the ROG Phone 2. And if you wanna be one of the first to see all of that new, fresh, juicy content, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button for me. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on 2 Saf TV, and I'll see you next time. Phone and the other five watts is going to be reserved for any peripherals. Peripherals? Peripherals? I can't say that word.